Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville, and I'm in Fellowship Hall right now. This is vlog 192, and you can see right behind me is Judy Harley. And uh, what are you doing right now? Are you sorting through peaches? Right now I'm sorting through peaches. We want to peel the riper ones today. And then tomorrow, Friday and Saturday, we'll be peeling a lot more. So we're getting a good head start today for the ladies to make our peach pies. I just want to show people we have tables just full that were loaded up from the crates that you had from Shartlesville. And we have a lot of people busily Healing right over here. Shanesville. Oh, Shanesville. it looks like, okay, Shanesville. Thank you for the correction. And uh, Lois, you're doing a nice job here and they just go into your waste bucket and then they get dumped over here. We have a whole five gallon bucket full of them. We have another group of people that are young and old, are, are not as young, <laughs> are peeling. And I wanna show you a little bit of what goes on after this. There's always a lot of administration to be done and phone calls are made. And uh, let's see, here are some pies that were made yesterday. These are not peach, these are shoe fly pies. And we had a bunch of people making crumbs for those. And uh, Jerry is gonna be doing some dishwashing back there. But here we have, Ladies making pie crusts that you can see. And every one of them lovingly made. And Louise is getting just the perfect size ball of dough and she gives it to Eileen and she's working the pie crust. I saw Carol doing that yesterday. Uh, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the process, Eileen and Louise, about what goes the on there. The pie crust makes it easy. Just put it in. You know, she gives me the perfect amount of dough. I put it in the pot pan. We put it in the press. I say a little prayer before I open it up. <laughs> Please. I hope it's okay. And I pass it on to the ladies to decorate the edges. Awesome. Can someone do that? Sure. Say two prayers. <laughs> All right. Oh Lord God, we thank you for the joy of making food for others who enjoy. We pray for the person that will enjoy this particular pie. We pray that it all comes out just right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And it's partly from Louise weighing it, getting the perfect amount and the right consistency, just the right amount of moisture. Right. right? It's the most important. <laughs> Without that, it's just it's a mess. If it's a mess, it comes out. And then these ladies, this is really the finishing process with the crust. Then they'll be, I think they'll be um, baked for a little bit, and then later on the filling will be put in, and just, yeah. Oh, oh these will be cherry pies. And here are just dozens and dozens of pie crusts that are waiting for the next step of the process. Um, downstairs, we have the second day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, of 9 to 5 um, white elephant sale. I talked about that in the vlog last week, and um, I don't think I'll go down there and bug them, but they told me they made $1,600 in sales just yesterday. So they're doing very well because they're opening it up for several days. They have more items than they've ever had before. And um, uh, so that will continue also the day of the Peach Festival. Now we're hearing about storms and, and bad weather, and I want you to know whether some of the things are moved or changed, um, at the very least, there are gonna be lots of peach products for you to pick up, lots of baked goods for you to pick up. So please um, stay in tune and we'll see what's going on this week. And uh, or, so we'll let you know what's going on, actually going on Saturday if we have issues with the weather. Let's see, on this, Saturday with we have the Peach Festival from I think it's three to eight with three different bands that are planned but we'll see how things go and uh, the next day Sarah Racine one of our missionaries that we support will be sharing a mission moment in worship and after the service we have a tree dedication it's actually a butterfly bush dedication in memory of Maddie Cunningham that we lost just this past actually just two months ago and uh, let me see what else. And then we have Rally Day on September 24th. 
with a church picnic after worship, and then we will have meetings with our confirmands and pre-confirmand classes, and with parents' letters going out, I think, today about that. Our scripture for today is part of what I'll be preaching on this Sunday. It comes from Joshua 24. Joshua said to the people, Now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods of your forefathers that they worship beyond the river in Egypt and serve the Lord. But if serving the Lord is undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods of your forefathers that they serve beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. That comes from Joshua 24. Here's a song that came to me for our song uh, this August day. In the good old summertime, in the good old summertime, strolling through the shady lanes with your baby mine, you hold her hand and she holds yours, and that's a very good sign that she's your tootsie wootsie in the good old summertime. The Tin Pan Alley song from 1902. It appeared in a song, in a, in a movie with Judy Garland in 1949 and several other movies. And uh, that's our song for today. The scripture is, is uh, Joshua 24. Or oh, our prayer. Our prayer is for one of the guys that would normally be here working with the Peach Festival preparations and uh, when we have turkey supper. And that's Harold Peterson. Good guy. Um, he's in the hospital right now. I saw him yesterday. And uh, we pray for health and healing for him. Will you join me in a prayer? Lord God, we lift up Shorty. And we also know him as Harold. And we pray for health and healing and that the doctors will figure out what to do and how to treat it for him. And we pray for restored health for him. We also lift up the people in Afghanistan. What a terrible thing um, some of them are facing, especially those of Christian faith and those who have tried to be allies and interpreters to help uh, the U.S. in their efforts to, to help that country in the last 20 years. We pray for your protection for people. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.